Hi, in Excel you often have quite long tables and the problem is when printing such tables you got on the first side you got those headers but on the next side those headers disappear so how do you how do you go about it to have those uh, headers on every page that you print the same thing happens if you got an extra wide table and uh, you sometimes have the first uh, column or columns on the first page but then on later pages you don't you don't have these columns anymore so you cannot um, you don't know uh, what 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 data piece belongs to what the way to do that is very easy you go to page layout in Excel and you have here uh, print titles when you go in here uh, you have this now you can hear uh, first of all you automatically in, in page setup and in the sheet tab now you can hear fi uh, fix the print area and the best way to fix the print area don't don't select like this because uh, your table is probably gonna expand in length or width so basically what you do is just select the columns so I'm just gonna select these columns yeah and Excel automatically just prints as long as you got content in those columns now here's the thing I'm after rows to repeat at top now I want to repeat the first row so I just click here and you see that the row to repeat at top is the first row obviously you can have like the first two rows so it'll be then one to two and so on just let me revert that to one another thing you can do and that's applicable in, in ultra wide tables you can uh, add the columns that you want to repeat you know so you can say okay I wish to repeat columns A and B and so on in our case I don't have that that much of a white table so I don't need that option so in this case what I said now I fixed the printing areas from A to G and I said that should my should my uh, printout be more than one page row one should be repeated at the top of each page okay let me let I can see here the print preview and I don't know if you can see that but let me expand that a bit now you can see the first page has got the has got the, the headers and if I go to the next page it got them as well and any subsequent pages would also have those headers up there automatically without too much effort